news right now as we continue to show you this live look. This is a fire in Tempe. It's pretty incredible. Most of the flames are out on the uh, south side of not only the bridge, but the, the whole bridge. This is unbelievable over at the Tempe Tom Lake. Wind was blowing straight east, so we had monitors set up in a 180 degree fan capturing all the data as any smoke that was passing by through there. ERU is basically the on-call responders for the agency. We respond to environmental emergencies around the state based on the type of incident. Our goal is to go in there and be that barrier and that first notification if there is any concerns, whether it's an air quality or if there's anything that might be impacting water. Situations can vary. You know, the Tempe train derailment was one of our biggest incidents in the, in the six years that I've been with the agency. one that was actually on call. I saw the first news clips of it and I contacted Tempe, uh, Tempe Fire Dispatch. I asked them if they needed additional assistance and they said yes because at the time they were dealing with an unknown chemical from one of the tankers. I immediately was out the door within a few minutes and heading out towards the incident. The cars had derailed right on this bridge right here, right onto the road right below us. And then the additional cars that were on that bridge that's a little bit further out over the water, those were on fire. Once we established what was going on, we knew what kind of equipment we needed to set up. And from there, you know, we took action. We let Unified Command know what we were doing. And after that, you know, we went around and started setting up the monitors as necessary. These that you see with the yellow jackets, we have specialty meters in this one. So this one has ammonia, uh, volatile organic compound, oxygen, and chlorine. And then for these, these are our standard area rates. They're gonna be your oxygen, lower explosive limit, uh, hydrogen sulfide, VOCs, and then that one specifically has uh, hydrogen cyanide as well that it can detect. The biggest thing we want to look out for is there's going to be any impact to the water. Is there going to be any impact to the community, to the air quality for the surrounding um, area? Off to my right hand side, there's residences that had to get evacuated because of the proximity of the train. So obviously, you know, we want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to impact them. Due to the impact of the storm drain from the chemical leaking out, we wanted to see where, where it was going, how to clean out that storm drain. So within 24 hours, we we're already working with the water quality division within the agency. None of the chemical actually went into the lake. With the storm drain that's behind me actually goes into the outfalls beyond the lake. So there's no immediate threat to the lake itself. Once the actual initial emergency had stabilized, from there we go into follow-on actions, the environmental compliance of getting things remediated, uh, the issues for the cars that were on the bridge, uh, all the material falling into the water. And if there was anything else that came up, we would you know, point them in the right direction, make sure they were following the, the regulations. So we'll get you know, smoke monitoring for wildfires, uh, toxic air monitoring for facility fires, for example, the Friedman recycling plant. And pretty much anything that, that's hazardous materials related. Uh, we did get involved with the nitric acid spill down in Tucson that happened recently. No matter the call, the Emergency Response Unit's goal is to protect the health of Arizonans and our environment, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the land we call home.